Okay, so finally after 7 betas, watchOS 9, today we now have watchOS 9, the release candidate. It's available to both developer beta testers and public beta testers and the official release of watchOS 9 is going to be released on Monday, the 12th of September 2022. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all that's new when it comes to watchOS 9 release candidate. My name is Ben and this is half men half tech so first things first as you can see for me on my apple watch series 7 the update size came in at exactly 401 megabytes and this is because i was updating from watch os 9 beta 7 if you are updating to watch os 9 from a prior version of watch os like watch os 8 then expect this update size to be somewhere between 1.5 gigs now obviously this is not all that apple released in in fact if we were to go to the apple developer page here you can see that they released ios 16 rc watch os 9 rc of course this is the video for that and tv os 16 rc there is no ipad os or mac os those have been delayed until probably later on in october now in terms of the supported devices that you need in order to update to watch os 9 when it comes available you need an apple watch series 4 and newer and you need an iphone 8 or newer that has been updated to ios 16 so series 3 has been dropped and since i've just updated my device here you can see if i go to this section here it says your apple watch is up to date was actually yesterday and i've been testing the battery i've been testing some of the new features so let me quickly show you some of the software changes that came with this update so if we go into general and then go to where it says about you can see all the new versions that came with this update so version 9 and the build number is 20r 361 so the build is now final this could be the same build that's probably released to the general public next week monday when this app watch OS 9 comes out officially now let's talk about the new features and changes that i want to show you when it comes to this update the first one you probably saw here on my watch faces now this is my regular aluminium case apple watch series 7 but you can see i have a nike watch band so this is a watch face that came with watch west 9 rc and if we were to go to the watch face gallery here and go to where to the letter n so if you spin this fast you can get to the end later faster and then you select that you can see that you have now more nike uh, watch faces and this is kind of cool because you also get the nike hybrid i believe that wasn't there before but even though you have a regular model you do get access to some of these with watch os 9 rc which is something that's good now when you also connect your watch to a charger there's a new animation that shows up now so i did tweet about this and i don't want to connect my watch to a charger because i want to show you the battery because it's been amazing so you can see fran here did tweet about it and it says that there's a new animation with watch west 9 and it will say charging to full there is a bug with this even though it charges to 100 percent it will st still say charging to full that is just something that i noted and thought i should point out but once you connect your watch to a charger you can always charge the or tap the charging percentage and it will show you this animation that you see here which is something that's good now usually when it comes to these watch updates whenever they update like an or release a new apple watch they usually update this apple watch icon or inside the settings they usually try and add some devices to depict like the apple watch series 8 or the apple watch ultra that just came out but it seems like this icon hasn't been updated to the depict the apple watch ultra and also this watch application here hasn't been updated so it could be something that apple might be doing later on 
but other than that something to also watch out for when you do update to watch os 9 there's a new update when it comes to some of the applications we have on the apple watch so if we were to zoom out right there and go to the compass i think this compass icon has been updated and not only that but it also been updated with waypoint and backtrack and this is only available to the apple watch series 7 and series 8 as well as the apple watch ultra so if you go into your compass you can see here i was just testing it out and uh, if i was to go to done and click here you see that backtrack has has i have the access to that right and it says apple watch can record your route in case you get lost so that is backtrack and also you get waypoint with this update this is only for the series 7 and newer unfortunately so hopefully when this update is released tomorrow you can see that this is something that you will be able to test out when it comes out officially and uh, you can see here waypoint enable precise location in settings on iphone to create and view waypoints so that is waypoint and then this is backtrack that has been added to the compass thanks to watch os 9 rc now also with this update they did in and increase some of the workouts that you can see especially if you are doing an outdoor walk so you now have uh, more features for runners you have the ability to be able to view activity rings you have heart rate zones power and elevations and you can access those by just moving your crown up and down like this which for some users was an issue before so that has been a fixed and it's a good thing also if you want to go ahead and set a specific watch face for a particular focus mode you can now do that starting from watch os 9 rc going forward there's also updates again when it comes to the workout app for swim pool workouts so now when you are doing a swim pool workout this will automatically detect a kickboard and it will record how many times you do that so that has also been updated there's also minor improvements to more workouts where metrics were not recording which is something that's great with this update now there's also a new update to the low power mode for the apple watch so if you go into settings and then go to your battery and go down you see where it says power mode and low power mode if i was to enable that on you notice that save battery by turning off always on display and limiting the sensors as well as the wi-fi connection of your apple watch incoming connections may be delayed and this will turn off features such as background heart rate measurements heart rate notifications irregular rhythm notifications and bo2 measurements so this is now something that i can turn on and for some users they are not seeing this it could be a bug and hopefully when this update is released officially you'll be able to use this new advanced low power mode and i do think that when apple uh, mentioned this in the event they did mention that this was going to be improved until the fourth so this is most probably going to be tweaked as time goes on so that's just something that i thought i should let you know and other than that there are updates to store kit and swift ui minor changes there and those seems to be the new features and changes that are here with watch os 9 rc my battery is performing well pretty much okay as usual i wouldn't say it's a major jump or there's a major decline and if i go to the battery health you can see that it's on 92 percent so that's basically how this update came in for me there are issues with this update but at this time they do seem to be minor there is an issue when it comes to siri but other than that most of the major new features and changes are working as they are supposed to be on watch os 9 now that's about it for me if you don't want to go on the beta then just hold on a little bit and you'll be able to get watch os 9 officially next week monday on the 12th when it comes out to all the supported devices the apple watch series 4 and newer and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace